Hello, are you welcome to an interesting edition of Women to Women, where we discuss and celebrate women. I'm your host, Alera. Lady Erin, today's edition of Women to Women brings us to something interesting, as we'll kick up with the Arabic segment, Katsi, Butterline Gym Center, and Women to Women. We'll be right back. viewers, you are welcome to the health segment of Woman to Woman. My name is Dr. Ono Uchenna Simon. Today we'll be discussing a very important topic, breast cancer. Any abnormal growth in the body is known as tumor. There are some bad tumors we call malignant tumors that have the tendency of spreading from one body to another. The other type of tumor are known as benign tumor. Another name for malignant tumor is cancer. Hence, cancer of the breast is when there is a malignant growth in the breast. What are the causes of breast cancer? We cannot lay our hand on any cause of breast cancer, but there are what we call risk factors, which predisposes an individual to developing breast cancer. But it is good to know that breast cancer is the commonest cancer in the female. It is very rare in the male. Owing to the fact that the female hormone acts on the breast to bring about growth, unlike the male hormone. Breast cancer is very rare in individuals before 20 years, but common in individuals above 30 years. And as the year increases, the risk factor increases. Another risk factor is the age of starting menstruation and the age of menopause. If an individual started men uh, menstruation very early and ended menopause very late, such an individual is exposed to developing breast cancer because of long duration of exposure to the female hormone. Another risk factor is family history of breast cancer. When the mother or the grandmother or the sister or the auntie of a female individual had breast cancer. There is the high tendency that such individual might as well develop breast cancer because some cancers are genetic in nature. Breastfeeding is a very good thing to do because it helps to prevent breast cancer. It studies have shown that women that do exclusive breastfeeding for a very long time less are less likely to develop breast cancer. Cancer in any other part of the body, like the ovary or the uterus, can as well predispose an individual to developing breast cancer. Those who have genetic disposition to the development of breast cancer 
and they are exposed to some environment like smoking and alcohol might as well develop breast cancer. There are three major ways the breast cancer spreads in the body. The first way is by local invasion. Breast cancer can grow and invade the surrounding structures to the breast, such as to the bone or to the armpit. Breast cancer can as well spread through the blood. Spreading through the blood is what we call metastasis. When it metastasizes, it goes to other parts of the body, especially the lungs, the liver, and the brain. Breast cancer can as well spread through the lymphatic system. How does breast cancer present? It presents in different ways. A female that has breast cancer may notice a breast lump that is very firm and attached on the tissue surrounding the breast. There may be also a nipple discharge that may be bloody. There may be also loss of weight showing that the cancer has spread to other parts of the body. Also, if the cancer has spread to other parts of the body, the person may present with cough if the lung is affected. The person may present with stroke if the brain is affected. These are some of the ways that the breast cancer presents. How is the diagnosis of a breast cancer made? Diagnosis of breast cancer is made by a laboratory investigation. A sample of the abnormal growth in the breast is taken and processed through histology. The cancer can be identified and characterized. When this is done, the staging can be done to know how extent the cancer has gone in treatment of the breast cancer. Now, how is the breast cancer managed if it is diagnosed? There are many approaches towards managing breast cancer, and this approach depends on the stage, whether the breast cancer is still confined in the breast or if it has spread to other parts of the body. A breast cancer that is only limited within the breast can be cured using surgery. The surgery can be total removal of the breast and the lymph node in the armpit, or the one we call modified mastectomy, which is removing the tissue that are only affected by the cancer. When the cancer has spread to all the parts of the body, surgery is no longer indicated. The useful thing we apply in such case is chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Chemotherapy means the use of drugs in treating cancer, and radiotherapy is the use of radiations to treat cancer. What do we do to prevent breast cancer? Women are advised to self-examine their breast. And anytime they notice a lump, they should present it to the doctor who will examine it and do proper investigation to know if such a tumor is malignant or benign. This is the only means of preventing breast cancer. Another means of preventing breast cancer is avoiding unnecessary exposure to estrogen because it is known that estrogen, which is the female hormone, contributes immensely in development of breast cancer. So drug containing estrogen should only be consumed only when it is prescribed by a qualified medical personnel. Thank you for listening. Welcome back to the program, Mr. Woman to Woman. We're with this course and celebrate women. We're right here on one of substance segments, and with me is this pretty woman. When I talk about the pretty woman, that's just uh, my definition of being pretty and being beautiful. Well, her name is Mrs. Tomak Ogala Ulua Femi, a businesswoman who deals with male clothing and a member of the One World System, which is based in Italy. It is a great pleasure for me to introduce to you, Mrs. Tomak. Ogala Olua Femme. Thank good day, sis. <laughs> it's good to have you on the program, Woman to Woman. Thank you. Let's get with you. Who is Tomak Ogala Olua Femme? Um, I'm Tomak Olua Femme. And um, I've been, I got married 2008. Okay. And I've got three kids. 
<laughs> I like the way you get to say, I've got three kids. Yes, and I'm proud of it. That doesn't mean that I can go on with my life, but it makes me expand. I have to know what I want for my soul. Although it was a little bit difficult to try coming up, but I'm into exporting of coals because I love my country. I have to make people to know more about them that we can export. Okay. It's not only bringing in things to solve here. Okay. So I have to introduce that to the other part of the world to make them to know that this is the kind of things that we can also. We have our own project. Uh, yeah, some young ladies they didn't know that we have that, but we have that. Uh, we have a lot of projects to show. All right, then. And that means you get to export um, so many stuff that we have in Nigeria. Down yeah, but to... I base on coal. Okay, you base. Okay, coal. Okay, all right. That's so, what I'm and okay, and you get to export them down to Europe. Yeah, because they use them when it's cold, and okay. even for the barbecue and whatever they need it. Okay. That's actually a good business. A lot of people have not really gotten the foresight to, to do all that. We only just um, believe that, okay, you're just coming in from Italy and you have to bring in shoes, bags. But this time around, coming around and knowing that you get to export what we have in Nigeria, that's actually a good one. Yeah. Okay. Because we're trying to bring the economy up. We're trying to bring the, um, the society to know so that we can overcome this um, austerity, should I say, that we're okay. going through. We just have to overcome it and we have to make the women know that we are women. We can also do what the men can do. Okay, that's talking about gender equality. <laughs> well, <laughs> interesting now. Once someone says that's actually a real woman to you, what does that mean to you? I think, it, it, to me, I call that is a woman that has to do with so many qualities as an housewife, as a woman of substance, um, to overcome fears, to okay. overcome, um, to, to confront others, okay, and to be an independent. I love every woman that is independent, and that brings me hope. I see some women in the society that I know that they are growing up, and I say that I want to be like that. Okay, it's a dream. You have to start from somewhere to have a dream. It's not that having a dream and just still dreaming. Okay. You have to work for the dream. You have to say, I want to be like this and I have to do it. Okay. So you work towards it. It's not all about um, being, uh, have to do it, that's why you have to be like this. Okay. And people are not helping me. Why can't you try and help yourself and be what you want? And you're going to say, okay, I want to make this, this flower to grow. Okay. I have to start somewhere. I have, to, I, have to, I have to bring the flower, the seed out and start cuddling it. That's how you come with life. Okay. That's how you come as a woman. And you have to take your children along. You don't just leave them behind. You take your children, you make your children or your husband the best of friends. And those around you that are trying to be weak, you bring them up. Especially when you're seeing a, whim, a woman, uh, a girl, especially the girls that want to be a woman. They just scared to be a woman. Most of them, they feel that if I have a child, I can go on. But, sure. that, but that doesn't it. It means that even if you're a mother, you can still go on, you can mix up with the society. You can do a lot of things that you felt that you want to do. But when you're not doing that, when you felt that you're dreaming, you see someone looking good and you say, um, it's because I'm not like that. They didn't yeah, make it for that person. Because that dream instantly just that, that you, actually you killed the spirit. Dream. You've already killed the spirit. So that doesn't mean that you've done it. And because you didn't go to school, then you can't make it. No, it's not like that. It means that I have to walk to see what I want to be. That's why they get to say, don't make excuse. There's actually no excuse for failure. Yeah. Well, Woman to Woman continues after this break. Welcome back. The program is to Women to Women, and we're right here in a Woman of Substance segment. And uh, still, our guest is Mrs. Stomach Ogala Ulua Femi, a fashionista, a businesswoman who deals in exporting coals. Okay, now let's talk about the um, the association in which you were a member of. That that's mm -hmm. the the One World Sister, and now it's been changed. You're actually doing something that has to do with the women, the women, yes, women to women. Like. 
And What's the drive? The drive of one word sister is just to help most of the women and children, especially the young girls that are trying to come up. And some of them are single mothers. You try to Italy help them there. in Italy. Um, children. You see on the age that you never expect that they will be in this situation. All because the parents want them to be there. All right, now we're actually going to talk about um, something um, that's actually, I'm sure, a lot of women out there. And since you've actually been in Italy for how long? You've been in Italy um, for over 15 years. Over 15 years. Yeah. Okay, that's actually a long time. Yeah. Now, what we're talking about um, a lot of young ladies actually in Europe. They actually, most of them are probably not even happy. Yeah. So I just want you, and that's in which we're talking about the one world sister, yeah. whereby you get to see um, single, single, single mothers. women. We go to them, but you know, the problem that we're having is the, is the, is the hard buys that get back home. Okay, because they never want them to come back home and see the reality that you can be somebody. You can be somebody, you can make something out of it, you understand me. But what I'm saying is that, is that a pressure? Is that a pressure, pressure from, from the home here? Yeah. Here, from the, okay. family, from the family. There's a lot of pressures that they give to them and make them to believe that you can come back home. Empty handed. You can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't come back. Not even being empty handed. Even a lot of them, they have a lot of things here. Some of them are very rich. Some of them went through too many different things that they're not supposed to do to make what they have and the family also never want them to come back. They always want them to be here, to be there and they want the things and in Nigeria. The things there. Why they're not happy? You see some girls committing suicide, you see some girls being an addict, you see some girls, they don't even know who they are, where they come from. Because they have to change their orientation, they have to change so many things about themselves okay. and that drags them to be the bad Nigerians that we are talking about. So for us to build that we are Nigerian, we're proud to be a Nigerian, we just have to bring this organization up okay. and go to them and make them to know that yes, the society is there. We care for you, we are like a family. Okay. You come forward, we can talk to you psychologically, we can talk to mm -hmm. you on, um, on a one-on-one -on -one basis.